friends, welcome to IntelliGear and this review of the MicroStream by Streamlight. A three and a half inch powerhouse. So this little guy takes one AAA. Let's see if we can get it in here where it's going to focus. Okay, come on now, focus. There we go. One AAA battery. It's um, It comes with a, uh, a clip as you can see here. And it also comes with a uh, lanyard, and um, it's the breakaway kind, so it, it'll break apart if you're leaning over some machinery or something, you don't want to get pulled into it. So good to have that safety lanyard on there. It has a uh, momentary on-off switch, or click to stay on, which is nice. Uh, if you compare that to, say, my uh, Phoenix LD20, it's just a click, and that gets to be a pain in the neck when you just want to turn it on momentarily. So, let's get into the technicals of this light here. It has a, uh, a C4 LED, which can be seen here, and then of course the uh, reflective optic down in there, which is pre-focused to give you a good uh, spot and also a wider throw for common uh, general purpose lighting all in one without having to adjust the focus of the beam. It's preset for you. It's, um, by the way, this lens is a uh, polycarbonate lens. That's pretty high tech stuff for, you know, a $20 light. $20, $25. I've seen them for a little bit more, but I wouldn't pay more than 25 bucks for it. Uh, pretty good deal for $25. It's super bright and can go with you every day. Go in your pocket, no, not a problem. Very small, very lightweight. So it's um, 28 lumens, to be precise, is the, uh, the brightness on it. And it's, um, according to the Streamlight website anyways, it's good for uh, two and a quarter hours on one battery. So to access the battery, all you have to do is unscrew this back portion here. Now I'll caution you if, you know, you don't have to change, I haven't had to change my battery very often, but if you're worried about it getting scratched, you can see here that this contacts the, uh, the main housing of the light. So if you unscrewed it a bunch of times, you'd eventually rub the finish off there. And they don't really specify on their website what type of material this is, but it appears to be aluminum. Um, pr probably anodized aluminum is what I'm going to say. And then let's go in for the extreme close-up here. Focus, there we go. It does have an O-ring seal, so it's water resistant. And it's uh, water resistant uh, per IPX4 specifications for any of you really technical people out there. So, screw this back together here. Um, they, did, they did a good job on the machining here too. You have these um, little, uh, I don't know what you call them, but anyways, the little, little grippers here machined into the housing on the light. And it's, um, it's it's best to operate in this fashion. That's that's how I use it, anyways. So uh, one other little thing here about this clip. This is a uh, a special clip. So it can be. Um, we'll use a napkin for example. It can be clipped onto something. Maybe we'll use a napkin. In this fashion, okay. So you clip it on that way, or you can clip it on. And this might be a little more difficult you can clip it on this way. See there? So it's designed to go on the brim of a hat. And um, then you can, you know, keep both your hands free. So that's a pretty inventive little clip there that they uh, put on there. Nice little added bonus when you get one of these lights. So I'll go ahead and pause the tape and we'll be right back with a, uh, a light demonstration on the wall. Okay, and we're back. So as you can see from the uh, the light pattern, there's very, very little artifacting. You have a tight center beam. You'll notice that there is no black hole in the middle of that beam. 
that gets uh, more important the further out you're shining your light looking at something so um, well done good LED and um, this one by the way this LED has a rated lifetime of 50,000 hours so once again the switch is probably gonna break or the lights gonna fall apart before the light actually burns out all right be right back okay and we're back so just to uh, recap you have this um, little guy here three and a half inches 20 to 25 dollars 28 lumens um, two and a quarter hour runtime on one AAA battery weighing in at 1.04 ounces comes with this dual purpose clip that you can put on a brim of a hat or a clip to whatever that you can imagine and then also comes with a safety breakaway lanyard which is adjustable by the way not a bad uh, value for 20 to 25 dollars if if you're wondering what that noise in the background is I don't know if you'd be able to hear it or not um, we got a new puppy dog her name is Lady she's a black lab just like Gunny we had to get him a little playmate and they're out there romping around having a good old time we'll um, we'll have to get a video posted of her in the near future here appreciate you guys subscribing commenting um, follow me on Twitter and uh, until next time friends this is Intelligear signing off be well